Let's look closer on docking and undocking some of the windows. Almost every window, when it's have a double line, it means it can be adjust or change position or um, undocking and placed on the secondary or other monitor for you to modify. Also, some interface was changed. For example, if you're familiar with the atmosphere editor, you open and notice right now as I'm dragging around, this can become dockable as well. So if you don't want dock, for example, just be sure it does not have the blue highlights, just put it on the side. But now if you want to close it, you don't have it OK or cancel button, what you used to have it, um, and we're kind of familiar with this. You always can restore if you like this. Um, again, you don't necessarily need to close it. You can place this on different screen and leave it open as is, so you can access any time. But if you do like it, have it button OK and cancel, you can always go to File, Options. And on a general preference, on about right here, you can see options Show OK, Cancel on Flooding Dockable. So let's click OK. And if now we preview Windows, you notice right here we have it OK and we have it X Old. So if you prefer the older way, Preview, you can always done this way. For the purpose of this tutorial, I won't move this um, properties of the screen because kind of you need to see what's happened. So I will place it on top. As well, I won't dock them necessary in other areas. But if you're going work and you work for specific, I highly recommend for you to, when you feel familiar, to customize, add icons, positions, and put it to the windows in properly way that make a workflow for you much easier. Okay, so let's click OK. We'll go again in options and I want to deselect the show OK. So we'll have it as a default and we'll click OK right now. <clears throat> as I mentioned before, you have some elements they can disable from docking. So as an example, let's go back to our atmosphere editor and you notice when I start moving, it's showing me I can dock that element. If I don't like to do this, I can go again my options and now I need to click on a talkable editor and from this area I can uncheck all those that I don't like to kind of be um, dockable or undockable so you can remove them leave them as not accessible okay Again, don't worry if you uh, change your view, you can always restore it, how positioning of the windows. And you can do this by going to the display, workspace, and you can load workspace or default workspace. You can also save your workspace and come back after as you like it. So for example, on this point, I'm going to lock my workspace, you'll notice now my bars or my docking is removed so i know i won't accidentally drag them around or reposition and i will keep it this way for the purpose of tutorials so we don't need accidentally grab it and reposition them around